Hey guys, welcome to the channel today. Uh, I'm gonna prep the boat for a little bit of um, winter weather. It's starting to get cold here. Um, and um, you know, I really wanna make sure that I'm comfortable on the boat for one, boat's protected, but um, that I'm being efficient with my heat and how this boat retains heat, especially when I'm sleeping on it. Um, it has been in the 40s, uh, right around 40 degrees, low 40s, so last couple nights was 40 degrees, um, and over the next 10 days, the next 5 days, it's going to be in the low 40s, and then it's going to creep back up uh, into the low 50s, Th these are the lows, sorry, these are the lows, and then back into the 40s again, so, um, so you know, we're going to be hovering around 42 degrees for most of the next 10 days at least, um, 60s does creep back up into the mid to upper 70s, more mid, and then back down into the into the 60s. So last night was about 40 degrees, and um, the night before was last night I think was 41 degrees, and the night before was 40 degrees. Um, the night before, which was colder, I didn't turn the heat on, and I would say I guess it probably got down to. The upper 50s in here but just being here covered under my comforter um, I felt pretty comfortable and getting out of bed I, you know I, I didn't dress I just wore a pair of shorts getting out of bed um, getting up I didn't it, it was a little bit of a chill in the air but it wasn't too bad so this boat retained the heat pretty well and like people say it's, it's a heat sink so that is a thing um, let me show you what we have right now for the temps um, hopefully this comes across well, but um, this is what I installed um, or bought this weekend, last week, and I, I set these thermometers up last night. So this has got three external thermometers, um, and one, um, or this, is what the temperature is right now in this. So number one is outside temp, the um, uh, the actual forecast says it's like 59 degrees 58 degrees something like that um but this has a little bit of sun i actually have it on the on the window upstairs uh upstairs so it's uh the windshield is kind of tucked under the windshield velcro to the windshield 63 degrees um with a little bit of sun on it the engine compartment is 59 degrees right now i'm not concerned about that because last night when this was uh in the 40s the engine compartment uh, stayed about five degrees warmer. So this this is just a good retention. Obviously that water is a heat sink and as the water gets colder, I don't know what the, the water temp is. I'll try to look it up and put it in the video. Um, but um, the water temperature obviously, is, as, as long as the water is above freezing, it's gonna may help this boat retain heat, um, especially at the bottom, in the bottom. So in the back of the boat, it's going to be well. So interesting that it's 54 degrees humidity in there, but it is a enclosed space that's not open. So, um, yeah. And then, uh, 67 degrees is in the head. So I just have one in the head cause the head, uh, will hold its own separate temperature. Uh, I do have a little mini ceramic heater for that, um, in, for when it gets colder and we'll, you know, we'll cover that on a really cold day. We'll see how it, how it does. And then 68 degrees here. So it's 68 degrees, I think the coldest I got last night was like 64 in here, um, and I used this this little oil heater over there. So that uh, that's kind of the temperature swing. But what I did notice in the morning, and obviously it was like 66 degrees when I woke up in here, um, here on this cover, um, I'm sorry, this hatch was actually damp. So this hatch transfers a lot of cold and I think I could actually feel it here in the boat but um, it was a little damp and then the windows these windows here as well I reached underneath and you could feel the dampness of those windows so here is my setup that I think I've buzzed past once or twice um, and this is what I'm gonna do so the first thing I have first thing I bought was the reflectix obviously thinking hey there are a lot of people use reflectix they talk about reflectix you see you know van lifers and people sleep in their cars putting them on the windows it's great but as you see here there's a lip um you know and i think the window is the smallest at about an inch and a half 
um, and then everything else is almost two inches so not quite two inches so I wanted something else to help with that thickness because we have in our RV we have a foam and kind of reflective backed pillow that goes into the vents so I wanted something that was more along the lines of that so I thought about just a mattress a foam memory foam topper this is like a $20 one from Walmart and it's an inch and a quarter thick which is just going to give me about an inch and a half to be perfect for the windows I think it'll tuck into here really well um, and I, I have to go with it this high strength contact adhesive so I'm going to spray uh, I'll think I'll do foam first and then the it's the, it does have a bumpy rigid um, texture that's going to go towards the window hopefully that's not a mistake I guess we'll see and then the flat side is going to get the reflectix cut in the same shape and then sprayed to it um, so here in, in this case here um, you know the foam may jut around these but hopefully the reflectix will be perfectly flush with the rest of the window so we'll see how that works out uh, and then the contact adhesive will make it one solid unit just like those uh, pillows on RVs. And then just for tools, I've got a uh, tape measure, a marker, scissors, and then uh, some sticky uh, Velcro. So that's probably going to help up here. For these portholes, um, I think I'm just going to put reflectives there. Um, and then um, Velcro, some Velcro pieces to the to the carpet um, I'm not gonna do anything special for those so I can still open them if I want or get some light in here so um, yeah, I've got this uh, hatch these this porthole and the other one on this side then I've got this these are actually two windows there's a divider there and then I think you can see the divider better here uh, maybe there's not a divider on the other side but whatever these windows this window that window and then in the head there's another porthole um, I'm gonna do this door um, so the upper portion that's open right now, that's already uh, nice thick uh, wood. I think it's wood, fiberglass wood. Um, that's going to be fine. But this door, you can kind of probably see that you can see light through it. So it's translucent. It's got a crack. It's going to let in air and light. So I'm going to fill that void as well. And then here, I don't know if you will see, uh, there is a window. This window is not recessed. So I think I, I probably can get um, a piece of the mattress in here and then the Reflectix on top. And then I'm just going gonna, gonna to put it up here, cover the window, and then I'm just going to leave it loose and then button this cover back on. And I think that'll do us. Um, and again, in the head, um, I don't have a plan for that. Maybe I'll tape up some Reflectix, but... That's just another simple porthole. So that's my plan. Um, let me get to measuring and cutting, lifting some of these windows up uh, or these blinds up and then show you how we get this job done.
All right, well, that's it for this window. Um, it's going to be obviously the same for this one um, and then the same for these others. So I'm going to, you know, as rough, roughly cut the foam and then I can, you know, kind of push it into place, measure with the um, Sharpie. Maybe I'll show this one since it's a little more unique, but um, the others, that's going to be really almost identically the same. Um, just simple measure cut. Um, and then back there is going to be even easier because it's just going to slide in. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's where I'm at. Let this tack for a second, put it together, and I'll put it up in there. And I'll just pull those blinds back down. Um, and one of the things it's also going to do is make it a little darker in here. So, especially, like, this, the light coming in from here is... is not insignificant and in the uh in the morning it lights it, it starts bringing light in so yeah and if you're looking over there at that that line that's been fixed don't worry that the rub rail on this thing had some some spots in it we took it apart cleaned it out resealed it and put it back together so i just haven't cleaned that there's a couple other spots of areas i fixed that i just need to scrub real quick um and then vacuum wet vac it and it'll be it'll be good so, yeah, I'll clean that up. There's a couple spots down there from that seat that I rebuilt. And this here from whatever got spilt coffee or something from somebody's fun time. So, yeah, I'm going to stick this to that. that, And then if I'll bring you in if there's anything else um, that looks interesting. Otherwise, I'll just um, show you uh, the completed product. Well, that one's not perfect. Very difficult to, um, I think, measure it. If I think if I had a two inch, maybe a two and a half inch or three inch, probably three inch foam would be better for this because you've got to cut around all around all these things and that. Yeah, but it's up there. I think we're good. And then the reflectus. This is eighteen inches, and the reflectus is like. 16 inches so I think it's designed to go in between some studs but yeah that'll do the trick for now now on to the front All right, guys. Well, that's it. Um, I guess it did make it quieter in here, even though um, boat life, for those who um, understand it, is already pretty quiet. So, except for the plop, 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 flip, plop, plop of the water every now and then, which absolutely none right now. This creek off the Potomac is actually quite. Uh, quite smooth um and now it's getting to be winter and there's no boats it's uh there's, there's no waves at all so it's nice but um it's going to be darker in here which is good because when i wake up in the morning or i it probably allow me to sleep more um and like i said i think the acoustics are better so i, I should do a podcast or something yeah it'd be great 
quieter in here. Um, and let's see how much darker it is. Well, I'm sure you can't tell, but I can tell. And I think what you may have noticed before, if I had done that, is you would see the glow of the uh, of the hatch. And I don't see it at all. And the glow from the windows, nothing. So that's great. Um, and let's check the temperature. 50 degrees outside. 55. Let's move this just in case the... Just in case the light is reflecting for you. But again... 50 degrees is the outside temperature, 55 is the engine compartment, 64 is the head, and 66 is this box right here. So, yeah, that's great. Now I can clean some of this junk up, throw it up here, um, take some stuff out to the, to the vehicle, and wrap this project up. So it's a smell. You want, you want to make sure... I, I kept this open as much as I could. The, uh, that, um... That adhesive is kind of stinky, so you do want to make sure you have some ventilation for that adhesive. Uh, and uh, the biggest trick for that adhesive was letting it sit for a few minutes, probably for almost five minutes, so it didn't get tacky. Otherwise, it just wouldn't stick. Um, once you put it up in here and you like sandwich it, I think it's, it might be able to, to, to do it, but just let it get tacky, and then you'll be able to work with it a little better. The one back there in the mid cabin i just I, I sprayed it and then i just put it up and then and then i uh put the the curtain over top to hold it so um but yeah the the hatch here it actually opens and folds it doesn't close all the way um flat like it should but it, it actually you can just leave that on there um which is good but i did velcro um i don't know if that's going to be the permanent solution um i don't know if i need to put a, a towel or i did cut a piece at didn't quite cut right, but but I think I might try again, um, or maybe even get some rigid foam for that particular spot. But the problem is that strap that I cut out, this strap down below goes through it and then buttons, and that's kind of what holds it shut. Um, kind of the extra lock on top of the lock that's uh, built into it. It's not a, a great lock, but yeah, we'll see how that does. We'll see if it holds better temperature tonight. I haven't turned the heater on yet. Um, see if I need to. Obviously, it's 49 degrees, so another project down. Um, if uh, right here is where I will, um, I'm going to check in the morning and, and I'll see how it feels and I'll report back to you. Um, and I'll put that right here. All right, guys, it's approximately 11:15. Uh, I was about to go to bed. I wanted to show you what we are at right now. Obviously, I won't be able to figure out the condensation um, until the morning, but it's 44 degrees outside right now, 50 degrees in the engine compartment, so it's 6 degrees warmer in the engine compartment. The 94% humidity, I think, is just because it's attached to the wind, the windshield, and uh, that gets condensation on it um, because of the dew point, all, all those things. I'll pro I think I'll try to show you that in the morning if I remember. 59 degrees in the head and 68 degrees in here. So, uh, yeah, almost what, nine degrees cooler in the head, but that's okay. Uh, I'm not going to turn on a heater in there now. Obviously, I turned this down a little. 68 degrees is almost too warm in here, so this oil heater works amazingly. So I turned it down a little bit. Um, so I, I think 65, 66 is perfect uh, temperature in here. So, yeah, that's where we're at. Uh, let's uh, see where we're at in the morning, but yeah, I think it's retaining heat uh, quite a bit better uh, tonight than it was last night. Uh, I haven't really even felt a chill at all yet, so we'll see how we're looking in the morning. Oh, well, good morning. 0630. Here is the report. The forecast is 41 degrees outside, but my thermometer is reading 46. It is 49 in the engine compartment, 57, so in the head and 68 here in the cabin so a full 11 degrees colder in the head um, i did just reach behind this um, panel here and there is some condensation 
back here. So I'll have to keep, a, keep an eye on it. Uh, maybe I'll have to do Reflectix, then the foam, then Reflectix. So we will see as uh, time goes on. But yeah, that's, uh, that's what we got. Um, so thanks for watching. Um, I guess I'll have other videos as I'm, I'm on here in the cold and uh, I'll report on how well, uh, how well I survive and how this, uh, this small boat sleeping compartment cabin holds up to the weather. See you guys in the next one.